friends, I'm Blair, and welcome back to the Test Kitchen here at Pleasant View Farms. Things are looking very autumnal in here. So many apples. That's right. We had a bumper crop of apples from the orchard this year, so we'll be putting those to good use, making apple pancakes. Love it. We've got the apples, but what else do we need? For apple pancakes, you'll need the following items. Two cups of peeled and chopped apple, one and a fourth cups of buttermilk, or for dairy-free option, combined one cup of coconut milk and one tablespoon of lemon juice, one large egg, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of granulated sugar, one cup of all-purpose flour, four tablespoons of dairy-free margarine. And you can't forget the toppings. My favorite are fresh fruit, cooked apples, syrup, and powdered sugar. Definitely. So, where do we start, chef? First, melt the margarine in a small pan on the stove on low heat. In a medium bowl, whisk together the flour, sugar, baking soda, and salt. In a separate large bowl, whisk together the egg and then add the buttermilk and melted margarine and combine. Add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients and whisk together until just mixed into a slightly lumpy batter. Coat a skillet or a griddle with vegetable oil and put over medium heat. When the pan is hot, pour half a cup of batter onto the pan and add six to 10 pieces of chopped apple and lightly press them into the batter with a spatula. Once bubbles start to form in the pancake, it's ready to flip. Just try to flip it. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, flip! Oh, it's beautiful. Should we try the other one? Cook one minute on the second side until golden brown. Repeat these steps until you've used all the remaining batter. What a perfect way to use our crop of apples, Blair. Thanks, Mom. But then again, I don't really need a reason to want pancakes. Thanks for joining us. Check back soon for another recipe from the Test Kitchen at Pleasant View Farm. Bye! Bye.